You're looking at new gameplay from Watch Dogs Legion, the latest title in the open-world hacking-themed Watch Dogs series. Done? Done? Any notes? Nope, didn't think so. This time the game is set in a chilling vision of London in the not-too-distant future, where tyrannical technocracy is the order of the day, and beatboxers roam the streets unchecked. Against this backdrop of high-tech surveillance society, you recruit and play as a band of eclectic rebels with the skills required to stand up to the man. But with great powers come great responsibility, so you will have to resist the constant temptation to use your skills to simply prank random civilians and create chaos for kicks and giggles. Here are seven ways we failed to resist that exact temptation. So you're DedSec. Ah, oh, that's so cool! I'm meeting Tedsec. Thanks for getting me those logs. Somehow it's worse that they were so lazy about covering their tracks. Of course, it's entirely possible to be an absolute bastard without using your borderline magical hacking powers. You just have to get creative with it. For example, you could down five pints in the space of a minute, which is definitely not going to end well. If you think this is good for your morale, I'm not going to judge it. Out loud. Taking a piss. Where's his other gods? Do you have a brain injury? Dress so terribly that it ruins the day of everyone you come into contact with. or dress so terribly that it ruins your day because you can't see where you're going and you get hit by a van. Where did they go? Should have picked a mask with better peripheral vision. If you want to rely on the good old human body, however, then there's no better skill than good old-fashioned human beatboxing, which you'll gain access to when you recruit someone with the beatboxing ability. This is, as the name suggests, the incredible ability to make, wait for it, drum sounds with your mouth, and fully deserves its place alongside, say, the ability to hack into and fly an airplane. What's this? We've just hijacked a feed from an Albion prison flight. Seems these poor sods are being renditioned out the country for extreme insubordination. When playing as a character with this ability, you can beatbox whenever and wherever you want, which is all the time and everywhere. Other people are less enthusiastic, of course, but true genius is never appreciated in its own time nor is beatboxing. The actual point of beatboxing, we presume, is to draw a crowd and create a distraction, but it's equally useful for being a jerk when people are just trying to go about their daily business unbeatboxed. I can tell you what is no good whatsoever for, though, and that's disabling laser security systems. Nothing. And I did the baseline and everything. Here in the year 2020, with Amazon founder Jeff Bezos freshly minted as the world's first trillionaire and the Amazon drone-based delivery service already in the works, it doesn't take a futurologist to foresee the inevitable ascendance of Bezos's all-powerful army of automated super drones, which will deliver your books, eat seagulls for biofuel, and watch you sleep from outside your window. Watch Dogs Legion had precisely that in mind, we assume, when it added flocks of delivery drones to the sky over future London. You can spot these buzzing overhead when you go about your freedom-fighting business. Sure, these quadcopter couriers are operated by some firm called Parcel Fox, but we all know what you're getting at, Watch Dogs. If you're looking for a way to amuse yourself and inconvenience someone you'll never meet, may we recommend hacking one of these delivery drones and making it drop its parcel mid-flight, smashing it on the street below. Yes, you could alternatively deploy your hacking powers to hijack a passing drone, then use that drone to scope out a strategically important location from the air, but if you're looking to be a basic jerk, it's hard to beat intercepting a drone and making someone's anticipated parcel go missing, thus forcing them to file a complaint with customer services about their ear and nose hair trimmer that never arrived. I take this for me. If you're quick about it, you can even swipe the contents of the drone parcel for yourself, though in our experience said package contains just a bunch of currency and not, for instance, the 14th generation Alexa Echo Dot, the one that records your fears and emails them directly to Jeff Bezos. Wait, what? Ugh. Sick, sick, sick. Everyone knows that when you're trying to be stealthy, creating a distraction is a great way to slip past unnoticed. And yes, while this outfit is extremely distracting, among other things, we're trying to remain unseen here, so we're going to need something else. 
You can, of course, use your hacking powers to explode junction boxes and the like, but that's not always going to work. It might be out of sight or too quiet, or the target might, like I probably would, assume that an exploding junction box is way outside their area of expertise and leave it well enough alone. Thankfully, in this modern-day world with all its Alexas and Uber Eatses, everyone is connected and the one thing everyone is guaranteed to have on their person at all times is a cellular telephone device, or phone, as I believe the kids are calling them these days. That opens up new, exciting, and exceptionally annoying ways to distract your enemies for the purposes of stealth. Using your talent for digital deception, you can gain access to enemies' phones and send them texts in order to create a localized distraction that guaranteed nobody is going to ignore. I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe it's bad news, that's pretty distracting. Come on, no way. Or, okay, best case scenario, it's some kind of offensive meme? And while the setup might be high-tech, the outcome is about as low-tech as it's possible to get in that you whack your distracted foe in the face with a big pipe wrench. Some things are just better the old-fashioned way. These days, electricity is everywhere – in our homes, our workplaces, and our interconnected smart devices. But what if electricity could be in someone's face? Well, wonder no more, friends, because that dream is now a reality thanks to Watch Dogs Legion's Spider Robot. But when distractions aren't enough and you need to actually take out enemies from a distance without putting yourself in harm's way, the Spider Robot is an endlessly useful bit of kit to have around. You just stick it on the ground, switch to controlling the robot, and then you're off looking for folks to shock into unconsciousness. Now I know what you're thinking, aren't people going to notice a nightmarish scuttling Spider Robot? The answer is yes, they probably would notice, if the robot didn't have the ability to cloak. So yeah, add invisible spider robots to the list of post-Brexit London fears. It's a new one, for sure. Once you find your luckless foe, it's time to zap them unconscious so they won't be bothering you anymore. And if you thought that being electrocuted was already a bad time, the spider robot makes it 1,000 times worse by scuttling up your enemy's body, latching onto their head, and then humping 50,000 volts directly into their screaming face. The great thing about the spider robot is that you can throw it pretty much anywhere you can see, so for example you don't even need to risk entering this room where a hostage is being kept in order to save her through the awesome power of face electricity. Of course, we can't untie this hostage with electric shocks, but at least we can jump encouragingly to let them know that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, I think that came across. Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government, or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. As a group of YouTube people who call London their home, we can tell you that the best way to get around is by the London Underground Rapid Transit System, or TUBE. But that is only because here in the present we don't yet have easy access to drones which we can ride around like giant hoverboards. In the nearish future, depicted by Watch Dogs Legion, however, quadcopter drone technology has progressed nicely to the point where these sturdy cargo drones are commonly used to lug heavy crates around like floating forklifts. If they can haul payloads like that around, then they can support the weight of a lazy Londoner who's tired of walking, you might think. And you'd be right! Our favourite way to get around in this version of our home city is sky surfing on a hijacked cargo drone like an off-brand Green Goblin. Not only can you kidnap some construction team's hard-working drone to help you transport yourself to hard-to-reach spots to do actual missions, Place could use some colour. But on your day off, you can tour the sights of the South Bank atop this extremely cool and equally unsafe hovering platform. If actively being a bastard is more your speed than sightseeing, then your hacked drone can be put to work hefting cargo where it needs to go. And where it needs to go is into the air directly above some unsuspecting victim. Ah! Whoops. Uh, if anyone asks, this was an Amazon delivery. You want it 
take that evil. It's obviously great fun to use your powers of technomancy to be an a-hole to people. In fact, let's have another clip. Ah, how'd you like that? Ah yeah, that's the stuff. What would really make that a holery all the sweeter though would be to know that the hilarious techno pranks and unsolicited electroshocks that we deliver to the bad guys in the game are persistent and remembered, and therefore much worse when we repeat them later in the game to those same bad guys. The good news is that Watch Dogs Legion contains just such a system. Take for example this overzealous member of the London security force Albion, who we come across arresting a civilian, presumably for the crime of telling people that the clock tower in the background isn't actually called Big Ben, but rather has been called Elizabeth Tower since 2012 to mark the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. Come with me. Wait. I don't know, I'm kinda with the security guy on this one. Still, we're here to stand up for the little guy, so we'd be remiss not to apply defib paddles to the side of the guard's head and do a little freelance vigilante electrocuting. Over. Which is all well and good. Later on in the game though, when running around Parliament Square, we discover the same guard who is back on his BS. How do we know it's the same guy? Because his profile tells us that we've run into him before and we stopped him from arresting a civilian. So obviously, it would be extremely funny if we were to electrocute him in the head again. And I can't imagine me stealing this APC he's guarding is going to go down well with his superiors. Man, bad day for this guy. Let's burn some rubber. If you believe the near future world of Watch Dogs Legion or just the tweets of Elon Musk, we're on the cusp of having cars that will intelligently chauffeur us around while we scroll through Instagram in the driver's seat. If it can take care of our drive through coffee order, even better. The problem with that is, in the near future world of Watch Dogs Legion, any rando with an iPhone can hack into your car, take over and start messing with the controls. While this is not great news for Elon Musk, it is great news for you, the hacktivist on the go, who can use this ability to aid and abet their jerkish chaos, from clearing traffic from the streets, to turning peace-loving regular cars into high-speed murder weapons with spectacular results. And it's so simple, even your granny can do it. Working wonders. I mean, sort of. And messing with the traffic doesn't just extend to cars. As with previous watchdogs, you can hack rising barriers in the road to create sweet ramps for you to jump off if you fancy making your evening commute a little more exciting. Just make sure you pick the right side of the road, which can be confusing in Britain, I know. There you have it, seven fun ways we found to be a total jerk or blighter, as the British probably say, when we finally got our hands on Watch Dogs Legion. Are you looking forward to more Watch Dogs or not? Let us know what you think in the comments and then like and subscribe for more on Watch Dogs Legion coming soon and, for a look at the new Assassin's Creed, check out Outside Extra talking about Viking rap battles and other weird things you can do in Assassin's Creed Valhalla by clicking the link on screen right now. Thanks for watching.